This is the second time I've seen the movie uh, on the big screen, and uh, each time I see it, it's you know I, I notice uh, more and more details, and it never never gets dull, and never gets boring. Uh, I, I was just you know biting my nails all the time, sitting in the in the in the chair in the in the audience uh, room in the in the in cinema, biting my nails, being nervous all the time, I've got sweaty hands. Yeah, that recalled some feelings I've had before. I think one of the memorable quotes in the film was, I can't remember if it was you or one of your friends in, in Belarus saying, well, we hope we are arrested by the police and not caught by the skinheads. I think that's uh, your line. <laughs> that says it all, doesn't it, really? Mm, really, yeah. It's uh, because the massive contradiction and not acceptance of masses of people or they do not they they contradict homosexuality and gay activism because they do not accept that and uh, in that case yeah in case you are arrested by the police you will be beaten less than by the people who do not uh, who do not you know sometimes control their uh, their feelings and might hurt you really badly which will uh, cause you you know multiple injuries and several months of uh, recreating recreation in some hospital you know, so in this case, of course, police police detains uh, detains people, arrest people you know, brutally. But uh, recalling myself pictures and uh, events from the, from the past, I remember I must have been beaten, you know, several times in the streets, and uh, I can compare the injuries that were produced by the police and the ones that were produced by the homophobes. That's why I said that it's better to be, you know, first to be uh, to be arrested before the homophobes come, because they 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 could do, you know, whatever they want because they do not control themselves. They're being rage, uh, 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 they're being, you know, on emotions. They they consider themselves Christians, and uh, you probably know in in the Eastern Europe. For the role of Catholicism is not speakers in, in Central Europe or Western, but nevertheless we have got uh, Orthodox Church, which is much more strict in that meaning, which is much more well Orthodox, yeah, <laughs> which is much more brutal, I would say, even. And uh, uh, the majority of the religious people are uh, belong to this Orthodox Church. And they're being ruled by by what uh, Orthodox leaders say, and they are not very accurate in their expressions uh, concerning homosexuality. Uh, and uh, as you as you could see in Moscow, it's uh, it's much more visible than in Belarus. Uh, they sometimes they bring crosses uh, as if they want to uh, as if they want to make some kind of, uh, some act. Uh, of exiling a demon from you, you know, uh, and so on. Sometimes homophobes have been blessed by uh, orthodox uh, priests, uh, which I find outrageous as well. I got the distinct uh, impression that the uh, audience this afternoon was somewhat shocked at what they saw. Is that what you felt? Uh, no, yeah, I felt it because when people were asking me questions, I could see their eyes. Kind of, uh, there was an expression of surprise on it. Uh, yeah, of course, uh, I can truly, under, I can fully understand that that difference of difference of mentalities, difference of, I don't know, historical backgrounds. It's uh, it's uh, it's truly seen, yeah, between between the difference between what's happening in the Western uh, in the Western Europe and in the Eastern Europe, and. Uh, uh, yeah, of course, especially for people who have seen, uh, who have ever experienced something for the first time, seen such things for the first time in their, in their calm lights, lives, uh, it might be shocking. But uh, at the same time, it is good. It is good as an educative, uh, as an educative act. They, uh, they now they know more. And they see difference, and uh, I hope that after after the showing of the film, after seeing the film, they will not take. Uh, they will they will consider. They will discuss these problems among their in in their communities, and they will not take their freedoms for granted. Uh, they they must totally acknowledge that the rights are not rights are not something that which has been gained. It's something which has been taken. Sometimes sometimes you know roughly taken. 
Sometimes you have to you have to put force to take uh, to take rights. Sometimes you have to gather people. Uh, sometimes you have to uh, sometimes you have to call for help from other countries. Do you ever see the day when in Belarus um, uh, um, a gay pride will be uh, authorized? Uh, do I imagine this day? Yes, I do, of course. The dictatorship and the regime of Lukashenko is weakens every day. It's weakening day by day uh, because the catastrophic situation, economical situation in the country. And people right now cannot afford themselves to buy you know, food sometimes. And when they will be absolutely angry, uh, Lukashenko will pass. You know, he will go away. All right. And, and only when another, uh, another president who is going to be chosen you know, fairly on fair elections, uh, which is going to happen soon, I believe. There will be much. It will be much more easier to to communicate, to to conduct a dialogue uh, between social groups and uh, the government. So I see this day, and it's going to be. I I, uh, I can even foretell that it is going to be in three, four years, maybe. Uh, this country has been torn uh, it has been torn apart many times in the history and uh, uh, this these people will understand that they have never been they have never been uh, given freedom before and that, that if they gain freedom as all the people not only uh, not gay but as, as, as nation yeah they will not be uh, they shouldn't be uh, Mm, you know, cutting freedoms of other members of the community, uh, because mostly, uh, I believe, well, I, I met such an attitude in Belarusian, uh, in Belarus, that whether you are gay or not, you are a Belarusian person, so you are our gay, you know, uh, on, uh, well, maybe you are gay, but you are our gay, you are local, you know, and I believe that this point of view will uh, prevail and help people to accept uh, except the minority, which may be diverse, that uh, doesn't look like the others.